Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you need a website, a domain, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. No, 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 you're in it. I'm working on your, subscri <laughs> on your subscribers more than you are, mate, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> Just move across there so I'm at least on a little bit of flat ground and I'm a little bit higher than you because I need to be taller than you. Excellent. <laughs> G'day guys, and as you can see behind me, I've got Andrew Dawes, and once again, we're in Tasmania. We're in a different part of Tasmania than we were pretty much this time last year. We're here for our workshop that starts in a couple of days. We thought we'd get here a couple of days early and just uh, explore uh, some different parts of Tasmania. Maybe we'll include it in as part of our next a workshop. This seems like a pretty good time to quickly interrupt and tell you that Andrew and I had an amazing time with the tour group in Tasmania. So much so that we've decided to return to Tasmania and run it again in August 2020. We'll be hitting up some of the best waterfalls Tasmania has to offer, photographing some of the most spectacular Tasmania wilderness, including of course Cradle Mountain and Dove Lake. And while we're in the Central Highlands, we'll be relaxing in the stunning Cradle Mountain Hotel. So if you don't want to miss out on this unique experience, check out the details using the link in the description. in Hobart yesterday we grabbed a car and we went out to where did we go first tessellated pavement tessellated pavement and uh, we camped just a couple of k's away from there we were up for a sunrise um, unfortunately we didn't have too much cloud but it uh, it was a really nice morning I've never been to tessellated pavement before um, beautiful foreground obviously I've been four times now Four and times I've been let down by the sunrise, so. And he's pretty much got the same conditions each time, so I think he's given up. Have you given up? Yeah, that's it. It's officially? Over. It's over. He's given up. We've got a couple of shots there. I might be able to put them up now. Uh, but this morning, um, after that, we grabbed some breakfast and uh, packed our tents up, and we've come up to Coles Bay, which is just beautiful. Andrew, you've been here before in the summer? Yep, in the summertime. And it was a lot busier than it is at the moment. Uh, we haven't got too many people, uh, which is quite nice. So we had a bit of a walk along the beach, tried to look for some, um, some compositions, some, some foreground, uh, but in the background, of course, there are these ranges. We've decided to climb up Amos, Mount Amos, uh, but this is the, not Remarkables, this is, this is the, the Hazards. The hazards. <laughs> this is the Hazards range or the Hazards. So. Yep. Um, Mount Amos is the one that we've that we've walked up. It was a beautiful walk up, really nice hike, wasn't it? Yeah. Had a couple of people that were concerned that we were walking up this late in the day. But of course, what we're trying to do is be up here for sunrise and sun, the sorry, sunset. We're going to be up here for sunset. And the sun is going to set over here in approximately 20 minutes, would you say? 10 minutes, maybe. Um, yeah. Yep. So we've got 15 minutes to uh, to explore and find a foreground that will anchor an image. So we've had a bit of a look around, we're going to continue looking around and uh, when we find something we'll get back to you.
Well, the sun has just gone down, or probably about five minutes ago. And it wasn't a bad sunset. We've got some interesting cloud. I'll just turn you around. You can just see it behind me. We've got some very high cloud, very thin. And there was a couple of times the, the sun went around about there, uh, just behind those, uh, that mountain range uh, in the distance on the horizon. And uh, there was a couple of times where the sun poked through, which was really, really nice. We got some nice side lighting. So we've had a bit of an explore around, um, and there were pretty much two places that we went to. We, we actually went a little bit further, or back down the, uh, the mountain here, and got quite an interesting shot where we uh, shot uh, south with the sunset setting in the west. And we had some nice side light from the right hand side that was lighting up some of the granite and some of the foliage, some of the bush around it. Uh, so I tried a combination of uh, portrait and landscape. I was going to go for a, a panorama, but I didn't bother in the end. That was quite nice, uh, but there was this location here that we wanted to get back to just before the sun set. And um, there were actually two shots at, at this location. One shot was north. And um, the reason why we liked this, this area was we had this little... Um, what is it, this little circle, this little hole, which has been uh, created in the granite uh, behind here. And there's a couple of trees and some quite interesting uh, sticks and roots and, um, and, and trunks there, which makes quite an interesting little foreground. And we use that in two directions. One was pointing north, which I'm just coming around to now. So we were uh, pointed north with the uh, foliage here on the left hand side and then there was this great big granite boulder that you can see just behind my tripod there on the right hand side so this was on the left that was on the right and there was the tops of the mountain uh, peak just in the distance there with some light hitting that which was which was really nice Then there was this shot over here, so I just turned around to the west where I've got the uh, tripod here at the moment and basically just had the little hole with the foliage in the foreground as my foreground interest. And I think that was quite effective. The only thing that I had a challenge with was trying to get some separation between the tops of the foliage in this little, this little area down here and the granite behind it because they were both quite dark. So we'll, I'll just have to see in post whether I can bring the uh, highlights and mid tones in the, the foliage in the foreground up a little bit and keep um, the, the textures in the mid ground um, relatively dark to make sure that there was some, uh, that there's some separation. But we'll see how we go in, in Lightroom. So that is pretty much it. Um, Andrew's just over there in the distance, just getting a last final shot. Um, I think he's aiming at uh, a few shots off there in the distance. We've got some quite, quite nice layering there with the hills, the rolling hills, and then the mist is starting to come through. Some low cloud is starting to come through there. But I've got to admit, this is a really beautiful little area. So the reason why we came up here is we, we were down in Coles Bay and we were exploring the bay itself and there were some nice uh, foreground interest with 
some rocks, but we would have been pointing to the east, which is behind me. And as you can see, there's not much cloud and we wouldn't have got any light. So we decided with a little bit of spare time that we hike up or at least halfway up uh, Mount Amos. And because we had that time, we had that, that plan B um, up our sleeve. So we got up here with plenty of time. We had probably about 45 minutes to once we were up here to explore around, which was really, really important because while Andrew has been here once, um, he hadn't been out this area. He'd actually uh, climbed all the way to the top uh, with his wife, Hayley. And so he hadn't spent some time here um, scoping out or seeking out some composition. So we needed time in our plan to make sure that we got to the location and uh, had enough time to explore around and and get a shot, get a composition that we were happy with. And in the end, I think we've got at least three. Even though some of them, I'm just not 100% sure. We'll, we'll see what they're like uh, once I edit them, but pretty confident that I've got an image or two. Anyway, it's starting to get really cold and I know that uh, I've only got a t-shirt on, but believe me, I'm, uh, I'm pretty cold. I'm gonna need to put my, uh, my jumper on. I've also got a jacket because we've got a, an interesting hike back down, which is going to be a little bit harder than the way up. And we want to make sure that uh, we're nice and safe. So we're going to head off soon. We've got a little bit of color over here. So we might actually just get the camera out and just make a, uh, do a couple more shots to, just to make sure that we get that color. But um, if I do get an image, I'll put it up for you at the end of this video. Squarespace is an excellent platform for building your website. I've been using it for years on all my websites because it's just so easy to use. Their templates are beautiful and you can customize each template to get the look and feel you're after. You can get a website up and running really quickly. Just select a template, add a page and drag and drop your content. Recently, I've been using their mobile app to make updates to my website so I can make changes quickly anytime anywhere. You can get a free month trial at squarespace.com which will give you heaps of time to get your website up and running and if you do decide to go ahead with a website go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Ma for 10% off your first purchase or use the offer code Andrew Ma. If you like the video or any of the images please give the video a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching.